Be of good cheer, everyone. It is I, Octi Angel, returns once again for yet another episode of Splatoon 3. Last time in Splatoon 3's Hero Mode, we made it through this level right here. What are they? Can we stop them? I actually knew the level's name, the level name right off the bat, and I didn't even have to look at the map. Okay, I lied. I actually did look at the map before the video started, and I quickly get exited out of it. That way you guys couldn't tell. But this time, what exactly are we going to be doing? I mean, there's a big battlefield down there. I wonder if we're going to be taking on a boss of sorts, but before we could actually consider going down there, we actually have to get, find a way to get rid of all this fuzzy ooze right here. And the only little bubble that I see, the fuzzball that I see, is right there. Do you think that this fuzzball is going to pretty much take out the entirety of that? Well, let's find out. It costs a thousand friggin' power eggs, so it better do just that. Ho! Oh, wow! Little buddy no! Incoming! Something's headed this way! Fast! <laughs> I finally found you, Kettlefish. My Octarian troops have gone missing. And I know you're behind it! There he blows! It's DJ Octavio! Up to your own tricks, eh? Give the great Zapfish back! 8 to 3, this dirty DJ is the headliner of the uh, entire Octarian army. Take him out! Quit spewing nonsense and listen up! I'm about to drop my latest hit! Right on your smug little face! Octobot King L3.GS! I don't even know what the .GS means, but yes! DJ Octavio is back, and surprisingly, he's serving as the first boss. Could this be an instance where the first boss that we encounter will also be the final boss that we encounter? Final Fantasy, actually. Oh, nope, never mind. I'll actually... You know what? Screw it. Spoilers. Because I doubt any of you are actually interested in Final Fantasy. Well, at the moment. But that's exactly what Final Fantasy 1 did. How his fight roll, uh, his fight will roll, it's basically the same way as it's been in Splatoon 1 and 2, except it's got its own little new gimmicks and twists that we will be going over once we actually get to the next phase. This drill punch right here is basically the same as it was in Splatoon 2 when he was the final boss. You cannot target it while it is spinning, but once it actually impacts the ground, then you are able to uh, ink it and potentially get a splat out of it. Well, not really a splat, but it's pretty much the same exact fight to a degree. Now once he's out and about, simply splat him and BAM! That is phase one. No cutscene? Oh, there it is. Think my beats suck, eh? Then you'll love this. I actually don't think your beat sucks because it actually sounds really freaking good. A vacuum. He has a vacuum and that'll actually absorb any ink. That oh, forgot about that. But yeah, you see that right there is actually absorbing the ink right there. You are unable to actually ink anything else. How do we prevent that? Well, uh oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. It actually, the more ink he consumes, or just in general, he will actually. Um. Anyway, you guys saw he actually fires off something after he does that. Now, how do we get? Yeah. Oh, I can't talk right now. Now, how do we get rid of the vacuum per se? Well, we have to do something rather jerkish, but rather funny. Throw a little buddy. Oh ho, that small fly foul looks like a perfect fit. Yes, he does. And little buddy is actually able to freaking clog that entire thing or block that entire thing right there. I mean, it kind of makes sense, I guess, but I'm sorry, little buddy. Don't worry, I will rescue you. You just have to wait, okay? You just have to endure the... I don't even know if that's... That actually does not look painful at all, but little buddy, as long as you endure whatever you're going through right now, you are a huge help, and I promise that I will give you some treats later. Small Fry got launched back out. Yes, well, after two hits, Small Fry will come back. Keep your junky fish out, or keep your fishy junk out of my mech, I think that's what he said. I kind of read that a little too fast or a little too slow. Not a little too fast. Oh, gosh. Um, that. Bye, little buddy. Have a great rest of your day. No, no, no. You get back here. Oh, you were not on the ground long enough. I was supposed to, oh, if I would have splashed down, I would have counted. You know what? Splash down. Boink. That didn't even... Okay, fine. I guess that really didn't do as much as I wanted it to. But regardless, it's just little... The little sound effects that little buddy's making right now is... I'm sorry. I shouldn't be... I shouldn't be saying something like that, but it's just freaking funny. Now you've made me mad! 
Oh no, he's slamming his fist. He's turning into Donkey Kong. What is this? Oh, he's really steamed now. Keep your guard up. I will do my best. You cannot hit that right there. Be very careful because that actually has a freaking launch wave right there. Or a launch wave, but that actually does have a wave breaker, as it's called in... Um... Competitive, not really competitive, but I don't even know what I'm saying. It just know it's actually called a weight breaker of sorts, and it will deal damage to you if it actually manages to hit you. So be very careful. Otherwise, Octavio is just as easy as he used to be. Welcome back, Small Fry. Don't get comfy. We're gonna launch you again, man. I mean, Cuttlefish, you're not wrong, but you don't have to say that. You could have just, you know, kept it a secret of sorts. Does he actually get a new attack? I don't... Oh, I think that... I think that actually is his new attack right there for Phase 3. It's just that little weight breaker right there. And eh, regardless, he's not too difficult once you actually figure it out. But this soundtrack, though. This soundtrack. I freaking love this soundtrack. It is so good. So freaking beautiful, man. So beautiful. Oh, wow, you actually can. Oh, well, that's it. Every time. So sad. You think he'd learn his lesson by now? My gosh, he's huge. Then again, he's an octopus. Ugh. No fair. Your gear is way too strong. You put on a weak show, Octavio. Your set list is getting old. Or maybe it's just you. Seriously, that was too easy. It's like you weren't even using the great Zapfish's power. Mute it, fool. I didn't steal the Zapfish this time. Blah? You didn't? But if it wasn't you, then... Who was it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the? Wah! The fuzzy use! Agent 3, help me! I didn't know falling meant you lose all your clothing and your shoes. Unless they're like really loose. Sorry guys for the long pause right there. I didn't realize that you had to press the A button. Oopsies! My bad. Just staring at a screen for nothing. Um, we are standing in snow. It's a good thing I'm not completely barefoot, but I still feel like this would be really cold. At least my feet will get um, frostbite, but my toes are gonna get frostbite. Well, I mean... Okay, sure, why not? Hello? Hey! Oh, hey, look who it is! Agent 3, over here! Phew, I'm so glad you're alright. You are Agent 3, right? Gramps fully enlisted you and Small Fry. Okay, uh, Agent 3, what are you doing? Why are you wearing flip-flops and it's snow outside? Yeah, I knew it. I see the look in your eyes that he's always looking for. Well, it's nice to meet you. I guess we should introduce ourselves. I'm Agent 1 of the new Squid Beak Splatoon. Hey, I'm Agent 2. Come on, Agent 2, get pumped. Anyway, one last crew member to introduce. This is our captain. We're the new, new Squid Beak Splatoon. Fascinating. Ahem. Anyway, it looks like you and Gramps got separated in that fall. This place is huge, and it's filled with that horrible fuzzy ooze stuff. And now we have to find Gramps before he, like, tasted or something. Ah, you make it sound like it's not going to be fun. But seriously, please help us look for Gramps. So, uh... Oh, they're probably... Hold on. Oh, they're in. Probably just too excited about looking for someone else's grandpa to speak. I don't know why someone would be excited about that. So Gramps reeled in a new age of three. Glad to have you. We've never been here before either, but there but here's a tour anyway. 
We think this place is called Alterna. Who knew it was beneath the crater this whole time? We count six different islands so far. What should we call them? Sites or something? Uh, are you even going to mention that humongous rocket over there? Look at that! Way to steal my thunder. Anyway, we put a tracking device on Gramps as one does, but now we're getting a strong signal from three different areas. Agent 3, your mission is to check all three of those places out. We upgraded your map a little bit. Tell us how much you love it. Yes. Now it tracks the places you've already visited and lights up when you're near something or when you're near anything interesting. Like when I'm nearby or buried treasure, I guess. We're here to look for Gramps, not treasure, and I hardly think Agent 3 needs a Cali tracker anyway. Wait, Agent 3 is totally out of power eggs. Did you lose them all in the fall? Yikes, your hero suit is all messed up too. Oh, don't be dramatic. I mean, sure, Agent 3 will have to collect power eggs and upgrade from scratch. Hmm, I guess an explanation would help. First, they'll need sar Sardinium to unlock access. Hold on, to unlock access to different types of upgrades. Then they can spend upgrade points to do the actual upgrading. There's got to be some Sardinium down here in Alterna, right? If anyone can find it, it's Agent 3. Wait, did you tell Agent 3 how to get upgrade points? No, I'm on it. Agent 3, just ink lots of stuff and find items. I guess it isn't rocket science, which is a shame because it seems like we might need some rocket science. Never mind that for now. I'm getting a strong grasp like signal from the next side over. Go check it out. And with that, I'm actually going to call it off here on this episode. We're we'll actually explain more about where we are and what I'll, how I'll be doing these videos now that we're here in Alterna. So yeah, with that being said, next time on Splatoon 3, I'll probably be giving a, a... The beginning of the next episode is probably going to be a lot of explanation and stuff. And we're going to be taking on the first kettle that is right there in plain obvious sight. Thank goodness we don't have to take out any fuzzy ooze because we don't have any power eggs. Until then, take care and stay fresh, everybody.